So I think we can all guess what happened again. You be good, okay, girl? I love you. I think we can all guess what happened again. I tell you, it would take a prodigy. He can't be a doctor yet, right? Well, in time, he became a trained here. physician and achieved a PhD in archaeology. Good for him. Yeah, anyway, it's... he's also got the cloak of destiny, which gave him flight, super strength, and superhuman durability. Lastly, he received Sounds the good. amulet of Anubis, a talisman which increases fate's powers, counters opposing magic, and can launch an intense beam of magical firepower. It also houses its own pocket dimension, where the souls oh, of past that. Dr. Fates reside. Oh yeah, lots of people have worn that shiny helmet, and not all of them were doctors. Even Kent's wife in Hang on a second, on let me... <laughs> Out of, um, mm, scientific curiosity, let's take a gander at that last one. It also houses its own pocket dimension, where the souls of past Dr. Fates reside. Oh my god, come on. Move. I keep having to move this all around the screen anyway. I, oh yeah, lots of people have worn that shiny helmet. And not all of them were doctors. <laughs> Even Kent's wife, Inza, got in on the magic action. Inza, but that's Kent nice is, like, the main one, so we're sticking with him. As Dr. Fate, Kent became the immortal champion of the supernatural Lords of Order in their fight against the vile Lords of Chaos. And he learned tons why is of chaos always, skills he can use. Why is chaos always considered evil in these things? I mean, nature is chaotic. Like, nature is the very essence of chaos, essentially. Just a thought. Perfect for putting chaos gods in their yeah, place. Fate can use Ooh. telekinesis, cast illusions, erect force fields, hypnotize foes, read minds, teleport vast distances, create an astral projection of himself, travel through time and dimensions, and even manipulate matter at a molecular level. Regeneration. He's so powerful he can basically do whatever the hell he wants. Like that time he did a Freaky Friday body swap with Blue Beetle like it was nothing. He can even conjure up Superman's Kryptonian powers for himself. That's right. This guy can just decide to be Superman for nice. a day. With his mighty magic, fate has turned buildings into dust, thrown a planet into a sun, and physically held back the destruction of the universe. The helmet, just the helmet, once flew through space so fast it reached the velocity of God. And it bounced oh. off the edge of the universe. Oh. What the hell does Which that Which apparently even is mean? physical. Fate has no, I don't his understand body it from either. A single it thought withstood hits from the likes of Superman and Ultraman, and somehow survived in a dimension of reality where literally nothing exists. Who the hell it looked is like writing this crap? Existed also, there. when DC decided to reboot their entire comic line, Fate was one of the only characters to survive the crisis that literally collapsed the multiverse. But he does have one big weakness. The helmet is Nabu, and Nabu is the source of Fate's powers. So if you remove the helmet, he loses his magic. For if the most Nabu part, Ken does possess some magical ability of his own, like telekinesis and super strength, but he's not even remotely close to the potential of Dr. Fate. And even further from the true Fate. When the souls of a man, a woman, and a god come together, in this case Kent, Inza, and Nabu, they create Dr. Fate's ultimate state of being, an entity with enough power to rip the universe apart and effortlessly overpower other lords of order and chaos. That's outside Silly, Like all menage a trois scenarios, keeping this going for too long could destroy all three of them. So Fate doesn't go final form unless he absolutely has to. Still, the people of the... Okay, so that is outside help. The, the pocket dimension with the previous Dr. Fates, I don't consider that to be outside help, but that Cosmos in, can sleep intent, easy knowing fate intentional is on holding, their definitely. side. Your fate is utterly binding. Who are you? Well, let me show you, my friend. Well, I'm not your friend. <laughs> Right, all right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, I'll teach Green you how to be a wizard in the kitchen. Oh! Okay. Um. Well, since all of that awesome stuff is outside help, um, it honestly sounds like Strange is going to win. He has stuff to combat magical beings and completely destroy them. Although, 
once Fate loses his helmet, which you know is going to happen, I mean, let's just be honest with ourselves, um, that probably wouldn't work. Like, if it's something to destroy magical beings, then I imagine it's specifically to destroy magical beings. So Vivi here doesn't stand a freaking chance. Hey! No! As I was saying before, I have a wooden bed frame, so I can't very well let her walk around. Yeah, you have to keep your beak to yourself, don't you? Don't you? You're a good girl. Most of the time. You gotta be a good girl for mommy's birthday. You gotta be a good girl for the people at home. Okay. So yeah, I'm, uh, I'm going with the Sorcerer Supreme on this one. I'm gonna put myself up here for this one. Stephen Strange. It has come to my attention that there are two Sorcerer Supremes in this existence. I am here to resolve this embarrassment. Is that the guy that did Jero and Freeze and uh, Kulu? Did he do the bridge? He's also cocky. I'm gonna throw some Egypt at you. How is Egypt? It's never like Sumerian. This is April. Hi, April. So, in addition to all of this, there is also the Ninja Turtles to contend with. Rainbow Road. Okay, they're on the back of some creature. Yep. Aha, I understand your power now. What was that that he pulled out? So oh. God is just a man in disguise. Let's see how you fare with that. <laughs> Shut up! Oscar, grab me the crimson bag, the cigarette! <laughs> Friend once told me the helmet doesn't make the man. Ah. All right. Okay. That's outside help! Or can he just summon their power at any time? Oh, in the pocket dimension. Interesting. Meanwhile, his body is disappearing. Where am I? Dr. Strange. Welcome to my world. Welcome to Oblivion, Danger Speed. How is this not outside help? Integrated and he's still. Oh, it's because of. Yeah, that's his physical form. Alright. So, uh. Don't Dr. 
take an oath to never take a life or whatever? Analyzing this matchup yeah, was bizarre. Yeah, but he's the doctor of You might even say it was strange. Save the puns, Wiz. That's my job. But yeah, both these doctor wizards were so stupidly powerful, trying to find their limit was like looking for a needle in a haystack. But nobody remembered to put the needle there in the first place. With their maximum potential seemingly unmeasurable, it's easy to make an argument for either one to win. If given the chance, Strange could have certainly, say, stolen Fate's powers, or maybe even just willed him out of existence. I bet plenty of Strange fans are letting us know how in the comments below. And that's fine, but Death Battle looks at the larger picture to find the most likely outcome of the them larger, all. Very strangely and Fate simply picture. held the advantage on a grander scale. Strange may have fought a 5,000 year war, but Nabu's been around since the beginning of the universe. Over 10 billion years. He definitely had way more experience. Fate also had the advantage of casting the majority of his spells non-verbally, while many of Strange's oh, required specific sense. hand movements and incantations. Still, it was only a matter of time until the Eye of Agamotto informed Strange of Fate's one weakness. Depowering him wasn't as easy as you'd think. He had his own magic, and his superhuman strength was something Strange didn't have at all. Basically, anything Strange could do, Fate could do too, but even more. Remember how Strange cast a spell which moved him six quadrillion times the speed of light? Yeah. Yep. Now, remember how Fate's helmet flew from Earth to the edge of the universe and back? It took about one year to make this trip. No. Given the estimated scope of the observable and unknown universe, a trip of this magnitude would require the helm to fly nearly 28 Bonk. decillion times the speed of light. But that's, that's just the observable universe, times not the actual universe. Look at it this way. Strange was a man borrowing the powers of a god, while Fate's a god. The helmet's actual speed is likely faster. The universe's maximum extent, excuse me, bird, is generally estimated to be 3 times 10 to the 23rd times the radius of the observable universe. How about that? And that's what's claimed is far larger than that. Going a man, a big was that power boost with ends of soul from the amulet? Put fate on a level above the gods in his universe. Something strange. I'm gonna have to ask really them how this is. Both Doctor Strange and Doctor Fate possessed incomprehensibly health. impressive magic, but fate held more experience, greater physical abilities, and a wider range of talents. Which left Steven stuck with a strange twist of fate. The winner is Doctor Fate. Okay, good job. Good job. Thanks Even for watching, guys. If you want exclusive commentary on this episode, really, click that box really, really, really gonna happen. If you want the battle to. music for yourself, there's a download link in the description. You ask how this is up. not outside help. Okay, next time. Were you again? Okay. Okay. Okay, well. That was outside help. I don't care what you say, that is outside help. Unless they just, like, they're reside in the amulet which would technically make them a part of his armor but it didn't say anything like that unless I like missed it because I had the camera over it they really have to pick they know people do reactions to it they dig that people dig, do reactions to it and still they keep doing that I don't know why anyway I mean it was a good battle next time I only really know about Ryu um, I just, I know Jin has that weird devil power, and they're gonna bring back, uh, you know, evil Ryu, and that whole nothingness mode that he's got. It's okay, Vivi, your powers are good enough for us. <laughs> uh... It'd be cool if they had Queena in a battle, just because of... Okay. Okay. Just because of its unique battle style. I don't know of anyone else that... Well, I mean, Kirby gains power from eating things, but... You know... Not in the same way. Okay, I'm gonna have to go. I have a very feisty bird to deal with, and she hasn't had breakfast yet. I, I know you guys are gonna look at her and think that she's being really naughty, but she, she isn't. She's just being hyper. She's just being hyper. This is... Remember I said I also I make these videos? Um, I include her in my videos so you guys learn about birds and everything. Yes, watching Death Battle Reactions with Black Jake is educational! 
<laughs> oh, and there you can see I have some weird pictures on my wall there. I also have a nice fan art of Sabrina. And a nice little uh, Gajinka Blaziken under that. I was apparently the first person to recognize. But, I mean, if you don't know what it is, it just looks like a cool fighting girl. But yeah. Come here. Come here. She's not being naughty. I mean, she was when she was being a bitey bird, but now she's just being hyper. So I gotta go get her ready for the day. I really gotta find out how this does not qualify as outside help, though. I mean, that, that just... Does that make sense to you? 